designed to be the best. Always one step ahead of the competition. Clark, for over 100 years, has been the pace setter for an entire industry. Impacting world commerce with the same ingenuity, innovation, and attention to detail, inspired by the founders of our company over a century ago. At Clark, we share a common vision to be the best, striving every day to build on our past success. We reinforce our executive team's commitment to integrity, hard work, and superior customer service with every member of our Clark family and our pledge to uphold these values is as relevant today as it was 100 years ago. In 1917, Eugene Clark and the employees at the Clark Equipment Company in Buchanan, Michigan, diligently searched for a more efficient way to move materials from one workstation to another. Back in 1917 and the years prior to that, the uh, Clark Equipment Company manufactured axles and housings and transmissions and that type of thing. But as the, uh, as the war heated up, World War I, the uh, manpower uh, for American factories became more challenging and companies had to find more efficient ways of producing their product. So what Mr. Clark and his employees did is they kind of jury-rigged, they put together a, a buggy essentially to move material from one part of their factory to another part. And when the U.S. government uh, contractor came in uh, to negotiate for some of the products that Mr. Clark was making at the time, he noticed these shop buggies and was immediately impressed and ordered a half a dozen of those uh, on the spot. The world's first internal combustion-powered industrial truck, the Clark Truck Tractor, was designed from that one shop buggy model of 1917. In 1922, the truck lift is introduced as the world's first internal combustion platform lift truck with hydraulic lift. Nicknamed the Badger, it handled load capacities of 4,000 to 10,000 pounds. That same year, the truck tractor and truck lift production lines were moved to Battle Creek, Michigan. Truck tractors had a 4,000 pound load capacity and were used to transport bulk materials. Early customers included construction companies, foundries, and railroads. Eugene Clark's engineering background acquired from Cornell University his vision and his ability to empower his workforce structured a solid company foundation. Eugene was a unique individual in that he saw his employees as his greatest asset and I, I believe that he didn't spend a whole lot of time uh, worrying mostly about uh, profitability as he did making sure that his uh, people were best taken care of. He provided them with housing and um, health care benefits at a time when these things were just unheard of uh, back in the 20s and the 30s. So he was a, a very unique individual that looked out for his people first. As demand for the new Clark truck tractor grew, so did the appetite for expanded new product lines. In 1923, the Clark Duat was released, short for Do This, Do That. The Duat was a small three-wheeled gasoline-powered towing tractor with a drawbar pull of 1,500 pounds. Clark engineered new models of material handling trucks over the next four decades that established the Clark brand as a household name. The Truck Tier, introduced in 1928, gained recognition as the world's first internal combustion production truck with hydraulic lift. In 1938, Clark premiered the car loader the world's first modern forklift. In some capacity, the car loader and the subsequent Clark forklift models impacted every facet of every modern business. The car loader set the standard for forklift trucks that followed and dominated the workplace. 
In 1960, over 60% of all forklifts in use around the world were Clark branded. The word Clark and forklift are synonymous with one another. It is not uncommon in many parts of the world that when a person calls for a Clark or says get the Clark or says that they drive a Clark, it is in fact a forklift that they are referring to, whether it be our brand or any other brand. My research on patents, we had our local patent office pull hundreds of patents going back to the early 1920s and it was really rewarding to look at them. We uh, invented the first hydraulic lift, the first modern forklift and the three wheel today, Clark was the inventor of the three wheel forklift that has allowed warehouses to consolidate the space and be very effective. Uh, and many of those forklifts are in use today around the globe. I'm Roger Henners. I'm the owner of Solid Waste Equipment Company. We buy and sell and uh, do service repair on anything from uh, compactors, balers, shredders, conveyors. And uh, we have a 1943 Clark forklift. The nickname that we've given uh, our Clark forklift is Big Bertha and she is the first forklift that I have operated. I started operating her when I was 16 uh, that lifts 12 ton that has uh, up until a year ago was our primary uh, forklift and uh, she's been operating every day since 1984 for this company. She is still our backup the forklift that never leaves the yard, uh, the one that uh, we still rely on to operate when we need her to. Bertha holds a lot of sentimental value for us. Um, she was the first piece of equipment that this company ever purchased and she'll probably outlast all of us. And it's really good to know that and really impressive that something built back in 1943 is still as dependable and reliable as she is, um, you know, in day-to-day -day activities. Throughout Clark's history, it has been our focus to implement the highest safety standard features in the marketplace. The nested I-beam upright in 1956 improved the upright strength and load stability for all lift trucks. In 1964, Clark became the first lift truck manufacturer to install load backrests and overhead guards as standard equipment. The quality of Clark products attracted new dealerships and distributors around the world, and the company's pledge to superior service, knowledgeable technical support, and commitment to standard safety features continued to ensure the loyalty and trust associated with the Clark brand. We have been a distributor since 1951. So the relationship goes back many, many years. Uh, our parent company, Pond, actually built the business through a series of acquisitions, and most of the acquisitions we did uh, were originally Clark dealers. And that's one of the reasons that we pursued them, because Clark was the premium brand for so many years, and we really felt like they had the, the best distribution network and the best support for the dealers. If you were a Clark dealer, you were a good lift truck dealer. Uh, we are a multi-line dealer, and our relationship with Clark is uh, number one. The people with Clark are the easiest to deal with. Uh, the management is uh, very accessible, and uh, we appreciate uh, the support. Uh, the parts support is excellent, as well as the technical support. I came from India in 1957 to USA, and I found a job with Wiley Equipment Company, who was a Clark dealer at that time. My first job was uh, as a janitor. In 1970, I was promoted to a depot manager for Dalton, Georgia. And I became Clark dealer in 1974. I'm approximately been with Clark for 57 to 60 years because I believed in it. Our people were trained with it. Clark is a good truck, better truck, better than any other. That's why we sell Clark trucks and uh, the rest of the family is involved in it. All my sons are involved in it. My son-in-law is involved in it. 
We have five branches, Chattanooga, Gainesville, Nashville, Bowling Green, Kentucky, and Dalton, Georgia. So we are looking for some more. So uh, wherever we go, Clark will go with us. We started with Clark. Clark is still our lifeblood. Uh, they're our, our best partner, uh, more like family. And uh, we believe in Clark and, and the product and the people behind it. I wasn't around for all 51 years, certainly, but I can't imagine uh, a better relationship with the management of Clark than we have today. The Clark family, dependable, reliable, always invested in the customer experience. There's unbelievable pride here at Clark. Uh, globally, we um, uh, make sure that we don't just focus on the product itself. Um, uh, the thing that makes us very unique, I think, between uh, us and um, a lot of other companies, either in our industry or outside of our industry, is that uh, the people in our organization do come first. In the year 2000, Clark Material Handling was searching for clear direction and for new leadership that could rekindle the vision of a successful past. By January 2003, only one company had submitted a bid that included the continuation of business operations as Clark Material Handling Company. That company was Young and Hat Company Limited of Buchan, South Korea, founded by Baek Sung Hak. Uh, Clark met the, our expectation for growth uh, after we decided to buy out the Clark. And now, uh, past the 14 years, uh, we tried to turn around this business going back. And today, I'm really proud of we finally got back the top 10 position in USA. And I fully believe uh, in the future, Clark will continue to go for their growth and success and get back the previous reputation again. Under new leadership, Clark invested in new product development and implemented sound sales strategies. Clark identified new market opportunities and renewed the company's commitment to putting the customer first. Community Partnership Eugene Clark and the founders promoted philanthropic giving and encouraged community involvement throughout the Clark organization. This level of community interaction has remained a focal point throughout the company's 100-year history. In 2017, the Young Ann Foundation will build another Bakes Village Orphanage in Honduras. This joint effort between Clark, Outdoor Cap, AJM International, and Dorfman Pacific will be the cornerstone of future philanthropic projects with Young Ann partner companies. Clark North America established a fund through local donations and company support to solely sponsor a Habitat for Humanity home in Lexington, Kentucky. We try to encourage Clark not just to be a business in the community, but to be a really good community partner in helping enrich the life of the communities in which we live. Clark production kept pace with the dramatic growth continuing to provide the best quality products for the best value in the industry. In 2017, Clark celebrates 100 years of innovation and manufacturing in the material handling industry. Clark currently manages manufacturing operations at three plants worldwide. Now, US, Korea, China. Future, we're gonna build up again Brazil and German, another Asian country. Clark is represented by 550 faithful, reliable dealerships in over 100 countries. Clark's founder, Eugene Clark, had a set of values that he instilled in his organization early on in 1917. And we have carried on these traditions. It doesn't matter if we're in the Americas or if we're in Europe or the Middle East or Asia. We all go to market the same way. We're very, very proud of this company, and we're proud of having the ability to move into the future at a level that's expected from both our customers and our dealers. During our centennial celebration, we reflect upon our past. 
we will never forget from where we came. We rely on the strength, the inspiration, and the ingenuity of our people to lead us into the future. We will continue to focus on the integrity of our leadership, the quality of our products, and the stability of our company. One purpose, one brand, one legacy, one century. Thank you again, old club family. Was uh, we want to do together? Let's have uh, the future developing company and your job and our job together. For 100 years, Clark has fought to be the best. As we move forward, that internal fight to be the best remains. We have prepared for the future, for we know our next 100 years starts now.